we'll share now in the thanksgiving over the water let us pray eternal father when nothing existed but chaos you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light in the days of noah you saved those on the ark through water after the flood you set in the clouds a rainbow when you saw your people as slaves in egypt you led them to freedom through the sea their children you brought through the jordan to the land which you promised in the fullness of time you sent jesus nurtured in the water of a womb he was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and she who receives it to wash away her sin and clothe her in righteousness throughout her life that dying and being raised with christ she may share in his final victory amen I'm going to ask Hayden Rowe and her family to come at this time. Mm -hmm. Hayden Elise Rowe, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. You may stand and go back to your seat. Your hand. Lillian Kate Buchanan. Your family may put hands on you now if they'd like. Lily, Kate, remember your baptism and be thankful. The Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Carmen. Elise Geddes. Your, your family may put their hands on you. Carmen, remember your baptism and be thankful. The Holy Spirit work within you that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lila Rose Jackson. Can we lay hands on her? Lila, remember your baptism and be thankful. The Holy Spirit work within you that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lane Bliley Powers. Lane, remember your baptism and be thankful. Laying the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen.
And I'll ask the confirmand class to stand at this time. As members of Christ Universal Church, will, be, will you be loyal to Christ through the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? If you will, please answer, I will. I will. As a member of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? If you will, please answer, I will. Members of the household of God, I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give, we give thanks, thanks for all that God has already given you, and we, we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant to faithfully participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To each of you, the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and in peace. Amen. Now, if you would stand for our closing hymn. Brothers and sisters, 
beloved by God who has chosen you. The gospel has come to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit with full conviction. Go out now in joy. Be an example to all. Be empowered to love the unlovable and forgive the unforgivable in the grace-filled name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.